Have you ever read a Lisa Kleipas' book? Are you familiar with her Ravenel series? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I started listening to her maybe, maybe a week and a half ago. And so far, I have consumed five audiobooks by her. And let me tell you, her descriptions, her usage of words and metaphors just astound me. I cannot believe her writing. <laughs> and let me give you an example. After listening to her and filling my mind with her her style and her usage of words, I can take a simple sentence such as, he stared at her and realize and understand that that simple sentence can be expanded and can express so much more. For example, he stared at her can be changed to he stared at her with such intensity, with such depth that it caused a small, tiny energy to build, to expand, to travel the length of her body, to explore the full depth of her soul. Okay, so I made that up on the spot. So yes, it could be a little bit of corny, but I just want to say she made me realize that um, I can create a simple sentence like that, but I can make it say exactly what I wanted to say. In that sentence, I can make you feel so many things and I don't have to just rely on adjectives to describe whatever I'm writing about. An example of that would be, as I said, he stared at her. I could say he stared at her uh, longingly. He stared at her um, intensely. And those sentences do convey something to the reader, but I'm understanding that if I take my time, if I truly think about the moment, think about the characters, think about how they feel and what they view and what they see, I can add so much more to that one sentence. If I employ all of my senses, taste, touch, smell, hearing, sight, vestibular, and proprioception, I would be able to create sentences long and short that evoke unique feelings and unique emotions within my reader. I can describe the complexions of my characters, who in some cases are African American, who in some cases are from the continent of Africa, who in some cases are Asian or are white. I I'm not limited to just describing them as brown, white, tan, mahogany colored. I can create unique sentences that truly describe how they look, how they sound, what they smell like, what tastes are evoked when they eat something or drink something. And I have this knowledge. I'm not a beginner as far as it comes to writing. But what Lisa Kleipas has brought out in me is that I can describe my characters and my scenes in such a way that it will create memorable moments for my reader. It will elicits certain feelings from them, that uh, is what I really want to do with my writing. 
I want to continue talking about Lisa Kleipas and her technique, and I definitely want to study her writing. Until next time, goodbye.